but the the weird thing the weirdest thing that happened while I was there was I was probably how old was I? I was probably 17. Maybe I was I was probably just turning 18, right? Yeah. Um while working there. I probably turned 18 while I was there. And I uh I went we were doing this story. I don't remember what it was for, but we had to go into an adult store that had <laughs> That had like all of the, you know, adult toys and whatnot mm-hmm. and movies and stuff all in there to record B-roll, which was pointless because the end result was it had everything blurred. <laughs> yeah, they can't show that. They on can't news. show that. But they wanted us to get B-roll and an interview with a guy that was there. And so I remember going in and I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm fresh into adulthood. You know what I mean? <laughs> Still a teenager. And I'm just like looking around, trying not to blush, trying to be like, I'm cool. Uh, this doesn't surprise me. <laughs> but it, it certainly did. I mean, I'd never gone into an adult store before. And That's I had funny. to, the first time going in, I had to, you know, video. I had to be, I had to help while like I was on the job. And so it was a bit weird, but that's the most interesting thing I, that I can recall that happened to me. Um. Well, my experience, I'm going to take it in a different direction because I didn't go out into the field or anything like that. Um, I didn't edit anything risque or like a naked dude that I had to blur out. I don't think. <laughs> I think that might have happened, but I wasn't involved. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I'm not really sure. Yeah, but one of the craziest, or the something that was very crazy that happened when I was there, I would come in around two a.m. every night to edit the show for four to start our show at 4.30. Mm-hmm. When I got there at two, actually I got there a little before two, and they said, they were like, something just happened around like 12. What was the, it? There was one of the reporters that worked at WBTV. Mm-hmm. They were at the new, at uh, the police department for another story that they were doing, and they were getting an interview from one of the police officers there but they had already gotten their interview from the police officer and they were sitting in their car and just waiting, trying to get the footage or whatever they were doing in their car. And as they were sitting in their car, literally like right next to them, this gunman like walked right past them through the glass, like probably a foot away outside of their car and walked past them and started opening fire. On the building or on the, on the car? Not on, not at her. It was a her, not the, at the reporter, at the police officers, and oh, at the wow. police station. She was sitting in the parking lot in her car, and because they walked right past her car, as soon as that happened, she kind of just pulled out the camera because she had everything right, right there, and started recording. Did anyone get hurt? Yeah, there was people that died. What? And in Charlotte. In Charlotte, you can probably look this up. I worked there, I think, 2017, I think. I think was the year I worked there. So it had to have been fall 2017, something like that. Gosh, you probably could man. find this story. But that is crazy. And you did they actually use some of the footage they got? Oh, they used a lot of footage. But okay. She was, she was there, and because she was on ground zero basically and had all this footage another part of our job was we would collect like other stations we could Mm -hmm. send and use other stations footage but we had to give them credit for it like that's what you see on a lot of times up in the right hand corner it's like wbtv or filmed by this person or something like that we you have to give them credit for that because we were wbtv and we were there everybody wanted footage from us because a gunman and like mm-hmm. a shooting at a police station was a huge thing. Yeah. So we had to sh- send a ton of people footage. Plus everything went on. So when I got to the station around a little before two, it was just a madhouse. Everybody wow. was there. Like they had called other people to come in that usually weren't there because it was such a big story. Mm-hmm. And people were there getting sent stuff out, um, doing just getting the footage edited together and everything like that yeah and 
everything, I mean, the shooting itself had calmed down by the time I got there. But everybody was still hectic because they're like, we got, we're going to be on air soon and we're going to show all this footage and yeah. stuff like that. 